Hello, everybody. You know what day it is. Today is Tuesday. And welcome to the Carolyn Show. <laughs> and we're taking place in this live from the North Walpole Town Library. A lovely branch from the Walpole Town Library. And Julie and I are here. I'm going to read you some uh, new books. But, 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 I'm going to interrupt. Did you get something very cool for Christmas? I did, Julie. I couldn't wait to show you. <gasps> Let me show you what they are. Oh, They're Carolyn. <gasps> hand painted oh. sneakers uh, by uh, a woman. Her name is Robin uh, Tavares Russell. She lives in California. Mm -hmm. She does these beautiful <gasps> works of art. Now, these are customized for you. These are customized for me. Oh, they're beautiful. And I had to go almost three years looking for mm. a pair of high top canvas white sneakers <laughs> so that she could paint them. Oh. And she, uh, my sister gave them to me for Christmas. Mm. And they're all very, very personal. Now flip that one around so we can, because each side is different. Each side is different. Yes. She's got the masks on this side for my theater work. <laughs> and then uh, this side, she has uh, knitted socks, because I knit. <laughs> and, then, um, and then, of course, she has my name all over them. <laughs> and they're just, uh, I, you know, I... I, st I look at them every day and I, and I find different things. And she even does the tongues, doesn't she? Yeah, yeah she does. <laughs> and and that's, that's her signature. <sighs> and and I, when I talked to her, I said, do you mind that uh, I would give people your vitals? So if they are interested. Contact you. Yeah, and, and you said, see? Now, it's turn fun. that around a minute, because I'm not sure everyone knows why that is important to you. Which one? The Blackfeet one. Oh, that's it. Because the Blackfeet is my tribal affiliation. Mm -hmm. So, yes, and that's why um, she makes them so personal to you. Yes. And it's she's just, and she's got me as fun. <laughs> <laughs> yes, now, we got to get this one closer, because you all... This is how she drew Carolyn. Is it not the cutest? <laughs> <laughs> so my sister uh, arranged these for me for Christmas uh, because she knows Robin's mom. Uh, Robin is, is Cape Verde, and she lives in California. She's so, so talented. Oh. Check her out on YouTube. It's, oh. it's Robin to, art by Robin Tavares Russell. And she does dresses, she does coats. She's just a, wow. She's got a whole uh, collection. Co I don't know. Collection <laughs> of things that she can paint on. Oh. And that she makes them so, so personal to the recipient. Yes. So oh. I just, I just. Mm. I just love, 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 love. I love, 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 love them. Yeah. Oh my goodness! I know they're they're so great. Oh, so I'm gonna wait until spring to actually wear. Them I think so. I think because, so. Although she said, "Oh no, they they won't do, they won't get upset if you take them out in the cold." <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I I don't want to do that yet. Not yet. Yes. Because it's it's, it's so. so so it's snowy and, and, and you know the snowy is not snow snow anymore. No, it's, just, it's yucky. It's yucky. Yeah. So anyway, oh, so Carolyn. I just wanted to share this with everybody. Mm. If you're interested in doing anything uh, mm. or having anything done for you, look up Robin Tavares Russell, mm. art by. Check her out on YouTube, and she's on Instagram also. Ooh, I might and, have to follow her. And probably Facebook Probably, also. yeah. So, anyway, she was going to send me her particulars, mm -hmm. but she didn't. But if she does, I'll let you know. All right. So anyway, we have to get down to the business of the day. <laughs> Shoes first, book second. Shoes first. Well, I have to show these to you, Julie, because oh, they're, they're beautiful. Just, they're beautiful. Yeah. They are they're beautiful. a work of art. Yes, they yeah. are. And I'm gonna, and I'm gonna give, 
I, I would like to put them away and, and no, no, you should wear them. No, but I, I am going to wear them yes. they got me. Go. My mom always said, wear and use the beautiful things. Well, she, you know, your mom was a very, very, very smart woman. She was. So I, so I am going to take her advice. Yes, Julie mom, Julie's mom was just the most gracious lady I have ever met. I would agree. She's just, she was just beautiful. So anyway, but today, <gasps> I have, this is not, a, this book has been out since November, however, <laughs> this is the first chance that I got to have it in my hands, Ooh! and this is the newest one by this famous duo of Louise Penny and Hillary Rodman Clinton. Wow. And as, as you can tell, it's both political and mysterious. Ooh. So, so instead of it, power, Washington, uh, D.C. power, it covers the world, and it's it's a conspiracy. It's oh, it's I I haven't gotten too too far into it, but I am intrigued. Ooh. So I uh, this is a hot item. If you don't succeed in getting it right away, be persistent. Keep trying. Keep trying. Because it's it's really good. And look at the picture of these two. Oh, what a great picture. Yeah, and, you know, and they have been friends for, for a long, long time. See, I did not know that until you told me. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so Hillary uh, often vacations with, with Louise in her hometown of Knowlton, Quebec. Wow. And there's this famous resort that they sun and swim in. So. Ooh. So I mean, they've been friends for a long time. And so this collaboration is really, really good. So I'm recommending it. <laughs> but you have to wait until I finish until it. Until you finish it. <laughs> because I'll tell you, it just hops right off the shelf. Yes, I would agree. <laughs> okay, and, and this is a good one. This is the bookseller's secret. Ooh, well I know. It's a delight from start to finish. <laughs> and this is by Michelle Gable. And it's a thoroughly entertaining tale based on the life of a legendary author with a vivid, real and imagined cast of unforgettable characters. Gable expertly and cleverly delivers wit, humor, an intrigue in full measure <clears throat> on every page. What a delightful wow. escape. Yes. I know. Doesn't this look good? It does look good. I can't wait to find out what the secret is. Yes. Yeah. So, hmm. so there you have it. There's there you have it. There's a secret. Wow. I, I just looks enchanting. So, um, uh, Sarah Koretsky is my favorite <laughs> Polish author, <laughs> although she's American born. Her mother, um, uh, she, all of her adventures take place in Chicago. Ooh. Yes, and uh, V.I. Warszawski, <laughs> her father's Polish, <laughs> mother's Italian. Oh, wow. What, and an opera person. <laughs> So V I is a private eye, <laughs> and a V is for Victoria. Ah, right. And she, she's she has a whole series about or with V I Warshawski as her as her antagonist. Now you know my first question. Whenever you say she has a whole series, do we have to read them in order? No. No. Each, okay. <clears throat> There's recurring uh, characters, so there's always V.I., the there's always the dogs, <laughs> and there's always her boyfriend, who's a policeman, and there's always her downstairs neighbor who takes care of the dogs when V.I. is out uh, detecting. But no, each, each is a standalone uh, mystery, oh, so you don't have to read them in order. Anytime you pick up a Sarah Paretsky book, it's going to be it's a good It's going to be good. It's, and this one is, uh, she uh, presents an irresistible combination 
a cranky, vulnerable woman with a messy life, <laughs> but a super, superhuman willingness to put herself in harm's way for the sake of justice. She's like Spider-Man with a PI license. Oh, I like and, it. I know, isn't that great? <laughs> That's great. And, uh, and, and this is Sarah. Ah. Lovely woman. Lovely. And, and we gotta love this book cover. I know, it is pretty, isn't it? We it, do judge it those books by their covers. I know. <laughs> I'm not sure. I think I've read most of her, but that looks unfamiliar to me. Oh, okay. Here's my uh, oh, favorite. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Are we having more than one oldie but goodie today? Could you not decide? I couldn't. Oh. <laughs> so, so it, this is Michael Palmer, and he writes about the first family. Mm. And he and his son, Daniel, have this wonderful, this is a great novel. It is. Family. I've also read it. It was the yes. first one of his I ever read. And then, of course, I had to read all the rest I could get my hands on. Right. So, yes. so you don't have to, it's not a series, they recurring characters or anything. But Michael Palmer is, is a prolific writer. And I, and I would say whatever you pick up to read with his, as his author, you can't go wrong. I would agree. I would agree. And when his son just writes on his own, right. it's also very good. And all my books are falling. They are. <clears throat> we don't want to get them ruined. <laughs> okay. So, and, and here's another. If you have not read this, it's. I think this is her best book. Oh, it's such a wonderful book. And she's only... Written two books, <laughs> so so this so this is a good one for mm -hmm. her mm -hmm. for you if you haven't read it. If you have read it, it's always good to go back to read it again to because read I it think again. Di at different times in your life, different things in yeah. that book are going to appeal to you. Absolutely, yeah, absolutely. And if you saw the movie, still read the book because I always feel that whoever did the movie forgot to read the book. So, <laughs> so read the book. So read the book, and then watch the movie. Mm -hmm. And uh, and this is truly a classic. Yes, I would agree. It it really is. Like I said, she only wrote two books, but um, and her her good friend was Truman Capote. I did not know that. Yes. She ah. did. So, so I would say, if you haven't read it, read pick it. it up. Read it. Definitely. It's a classic. Yes. And if you have read it, it's always good to go back. I agree. I and to reread the really good books. I always say that if I had read that book before my daughter Emily was born, her name would have been Scout. Because really? that I just love, love the character. It's one of my favorite characters of all time. I yeah. just love her. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, no, this is a good one. A good one. And <laughs> That's scalp. <laughs> that's scalp, pretty much so. <laughs> so that's all for now. And so please join us on Saturday. On Saturday. For Sneak Peek Saturday. Mm -hmm. Well, I will pick out one of these books and read the first page. Ooh. Or I will pick out a brand new one. Oop, you never Ooh. know. You're yeah. going to leave us in suspense. That's right. So you'll have to tune in and find <laughs> out which one it is. So oh. thank you, Julie. Thank you, Carolyn. And thank you all for, for uh, participating by watching. So <laughs> see you next week. Bye. Bye.